Have you been feeling a little heavy energy over the last six months? Do you feel like something is coming to a close? Do you feel like you have been building and building and now you have completed a cycle? Well, if this is you, tell me down below, yes, 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 because that is exactly what the energy is bringing for you. Guys, my name is Larissa and I'm an intuitive numerologist and my whole point is to help you discover your destiny, live your purpose, and really understand your energy, who you are, but who you're born to be. I like to think of this as me providing simple, spiritual solutions for everyday problems, helping you find alignment and success no matter where you are in your life. So make sure you hit that follow button, subscribe to my channel, and let me know what you would like to learn more about, and I will bring that to you. But let's get right into the energy of February and now moving into March. February was an energy that was filled with momentum. Like, did you feel it? Did you feel this intense energy? Now, when I say intense, it could have been um, intense in a heightened sense or in a low vibration. So it was just heightened one way or another. If you were like me, there was a lot of momentum happening, a lot of opportunities, maybe some new growth, business opportunities, even some money matters were being moved, whether you were making decisions for business business, uh, finances, getting new job opportunities, but really it felt like a blink of an eye February happened. It came, it went. I mean, in the month of February, I have managed to launch my signature course. I have managed to grow my business. I went to Paris on a, you know, five day getaway with my husband and, um, you know, took care of three children. So I did a lot in February and guess what? It was a fun month, but there's a lot going on right now. And everyone is feeling that this energy is changing. We have a lot going on in the world. It's a very heavy energy in the month of March. March is a energy where we are forced to think of humanity, to raise our conscious awareness, to think about what is my part in this story on this planet? Like, how can I help? How can I support? How can I be of service? How can I give back? And maybe you don't know how you're gonna do this, and maybe we can't help those in need. But the way that we can start giving back is by being our best self in our present life, helping the people within our core circle, within our home, with our in our place of employment, our loved ones, because energy never breaks and it never dies. So if each person can support their people through positivity, inspiration, love, light, energy that pr produces caring and kindness, this is gonna have a ripple effect. When we move into the month of March, which we are, hello March, we're here. It is a nine universal energy in numerology. The universal energy of 2022 is a six energy. It is rebuilding the home, both physically, emotionally, spiritually, mentally, financially, health, wellness, all coming into balance. Relationships in the month of March are going to either come into balance or they're going to break. Many of us have experienced relationship hiccups and if they were teetering, whether they were gonna stay or gonna go, my prediction is that in the month of March, they will be exiting your life. The month of March is an ending month, completion, closure, loss. It's a heavy month. It's an emotional month. You're being tested. And we have the new moon in Pisces, which is at the very beginning of March. And that new moon in Pisces is asking you, what what do I need to do to promote more peace in my life? What do I need to do to be of service? 
to bring more joy into my life? How do I set intentions, okay, that are going to make me feel whole and complete? So this new moon in Pisces is about letting go. It's about letting go of the old, the old ways, the mindset, habits, your old limiting beliefs, old friendships, old loves, okay? If this is resonating with you, drop an emoji down below or give me a comment of some kind to let me know, holy crap, this is making sense. Because with every great ending, there's a new beginning, right? So March is a month of transformation. It's an ending, but my goodness, something beautiful will be built as a result of this. There will be a new beginning that is emerging for you. And this beginning will give you more peace, more unity, and more freedom because that is truly what your soul craves. You will not follow the, the systems of the past. They're breaking down and you're gonna start to explore your own identity. Now, I understand with the weight of the world on our shoulders, it is so hard to think about, you know, outside influences and what will life be like. But I'm asking you to go within. I'm asking you to create a connection with yourself of what, what rules you, what governs you, what lights you up, what gives you hope, what gives you joy, what makes you want to get out of bed and, you know, get through your day. It's asking you to get focused on the energy that you're putting out into the world and the energy that you're creating towards your goals. It's asking you for the past six months to break away from this victim mentality. The new moon and the universal energy of nine is saying, I need to take my power back. I need to feel in control of this process because you've awakened, the veil has been lifted, and things have been scattered, and now you have to let the light in. Now, as your independence approaches, you're going to become new because you are not the same as you were six months ago. And you have to be honest with the people that you love. Tell them what you need from them. Tell them how they're hurting you. Tell them how they are loving you and then set healthy boundaries that protects your peace at all costs because you are not the same person, therefore you cannot be treated the same. Your joy is created by you. So once we stop giving our power away and we take our power back, we're going to tap into our intuitive abilities. They're gonna get stronger. You're gonna have these aha moments, these epiphanies. Your dreams are gonna become more vivid. You're gonna become more clairvoyant. You're gonna to start to pay attention to the spiritual breadcrumbs. You're gonna pay attention to the clues that your spiritual team is leaving. And they're gonna show you a path towards your joy. They're gonna show you where you need to go, what lights you up. Everything is connected. Everything is just always about you becoming more connected. So in this universal energy of a nine, everyone needs to take a minute. Forgive yourself. Forgive, forgive those who have wronged you. Make peace with the past. And allow yourself to move forward in a new way, with new patterns, with new energy, new light, because you have come to a karmic close where you have learned a lesson and now you've grown. And as a result of it, you get to go into a new energy. And that's exciting. So. Please leave your comment. Let me know if this resonates and what you liked best. Be sure to follow. And I look forward to uh, connecting with you. If you want a private reading, you may book uh, in my website, thegoddessgiving.com. And be sure to subscribe to my monthly newsletter, which is free. And I give 
valuable tips and strategies on how to use this energy so that you can be the best version of yourself. All right. Thank you.